For the past few months, creator fees or royalties on NFT sales have been a topic of past discussion. OpenSea, which is the biggest NFT marketplace on Ethereum, has always honored those royalties, but that will change soon. New marketplaces such as Blur.io and Pseudoswap have come up which don't enforce the creator royalties. Because of that, it becomes cheaper to sell and buy your NFTs from the other marketplaces. And that has led to a lot of volume being thrown out of OpenSea. So OpenSea has come up with a resolution, with a tool to fight this thing. Is that a good tool? Is that a bad tool? We'll discuss today. I'll show you how you can use the operator filter registry which is a tool by OpenSea to make sure that you receive your creator royalties. What's up Clubbers GM 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 welcome to Web3 Club and in today's video we are going to scrutinize the new tool given by OpenSea for creator royalty and we'll understand how to use it. I had a grim tone in the beginning of the video because I want to make it clear this is not the best of news out there. It adds an element of censorship and anti-competitive behavior to our NFT. But if you want them to work on OpenSea, you'll have to comply with them. But before we get started, please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, your subscriptions, your likes really keep me motivated to create more of these videos. If you have your own opinion on this tool, please let me know in the YouTube comments. If you want to sponsor a video, if you want to hire me for some consultation, my email ID is in the about section of my YouTube page. And if you have a specific question, come join my Discord server. There are a bunch of people just like you and me who are trying to help each other out. All right, with that said, let's get started. Okay, I'm going to be full of energy now. <laughs> so OpenSea recently created this new blog post which basically explains their situation and how they want to help creators earn their creator royalty. The problem right now is that NFTs are an open standard and there's no way to enforce royalties on chain. So what ends up happening is sellers go to the place which don't enforce creator royalty because they get to earn some more percentage of the sale that they've made. And that has been driving a lot of volume away from OpenSea which makes its revenues based on the volume. So you can understand why OpenSea would be worried about the creator royalties that they're charging, that they're helping creators with. So they've come up with a solution. They've created a smart contract which you can inherit from. And that smart contract essentially blocks out all their competition. They claim that they will only block out the competition which does not enforce royalties. So that way it's a good thing, but it still blocks up all the leading competitors that they have and because of that it sort of becomes a bit anti-competitive it masquerades as a pro creator royalty tool but i think it is more of an anti-competitive tool for OpenSea to create their own mode but whatever i think whatever you feel it doesn't matter. It's what they have decided and this is what they are going forward with. If you want to understand more, you can go through this blog post that they have written and they've explained what they're doing, why they're doing, what they believe in, why it should be. One thing to note is that this will start enforcing from 8th of November, which is tomorrow as of recording today. So if you're going to launch a new NFT smart contract, please make sure to go through this whole video. As for the existing collections, they've they're saying that they will not change anything for them at least until 8th of December. Don't worry if you cannot read anything, I'll just link to these in the description down below. And this is the operator filter registry. This repository is the code that you can use in your own smart contract. And this smart contract basically checks a registry on chain and makes sure whether the transfer from operator is allowed or not. So they basically have a block list of operators and the contract code, the byte code that they have so that they cannot just create a new contract with the same code. You can see that the filter addresses that they've mentioned are of their major competitors, the ones that are going the quickest, but this is what it is. They have basically said that these are the exchanges that will be blocked from your NFT smart contract if you use the operator filter registry, this project, this repository. They have deployed this on Ethereum and you can basically check it out over here. 
this is the smart contract that they've deployed you can basically go through that you can see in the read contract there are a bunch of methods which is basically it returns with true or false whether an operator is allowed or not so you can see this is operator allowed registrant operator so these methods are like are there for this sort of thing so now today what we'll do is we'll understand how do we use this in our erc721 smart contract so to do that you can of course go through this example erc721 you can simply download the code and see and uh, work through it what you need to essentially understand is that in an, any of any of the erc721 smart contract you have to basically inherit from the operator filterer so there's a default operator filterer that they provide and you can also create your own custom today we'll focus on only the default and if you want to create a custom one please let me know in the youtube comments and i'll create a video on that um, so once you have the default operator filterer what you can do is you can add a modifier which says only allowed operator is allowed to transfer from or safe transfer from your nft asset your token your whatever all right similarly you have a safe transfer from with data also that also is allowed only uh, with the allowed operator and this is basically the requirement this is, these are the changes that you need to make to your smart contract to basically comply with open seas creator royalty tool so the next thing that i'm going to do is basically go here and click on code and click on download zip uh, you can also git clone this repository whatever is up to you and once downloaded i'll just open this zip file over here so this is what the code looks like uh, and i now what i want is i want to import all these files in my remix now before i do that what i'm going to do is i'm going to open uh, the open zeppelin wizard now once it is open i can select my erc721 whatever kind of erc721 that i want let's say mintable auto increment id uh, even let's say I don't know URI storage right whatever you want uh, and then once you're done you can just open it in remix now once it opens in remix what you basically essentially need to do is go here go here and uh, you just click over here which says load a local file into current workspace so I click over here um, now you can see that this is the src folder that is present and i can select all these files and open it over here now the problem is <laughs> they all went into artifacts for some reason which is not what i wanted so i'm going to do it once again great so now i'll just increase the font size so that it is visible to everyone all right i also have the default operator code right so which is present over here and what i need to do is i need to import this default operator okay so to do that i'll just write default operator filter like this and once i've imported i also need to copy this and inherit from here now you can see that uh, there's an error over here that you can see and it says default operator filter not found and over here you can see that you know there's a problem with operator filterer itself uh, looks like the code that they've written <laughs> is not working out very well for some reason and i can understand why it's because they have written um, they have not basically done things the right way so i i'm making some changes over here that you can see uh, and I, what i'll do is i'll basically share all the changes that i've done so that you can simply copy these lines but what i'm essentially doing is figuring out where is open zeppelin hyphen contracts are written and i'm just changing them with a slash all right so in off screen what i've done is basically uh, i went through all the files for example over here so i went to operator filterer and then uh, I, I operator filter registry and then basically i made at open zeppelin slash contracts over here instead of add uh, open zeppelin hyphen contracts and basically that is the change that you will need to make if it still does not work as it did not work, work for some of my cases what i also did was added at 4.7.3 uh, so that they will definitely work because that is the uh, open zeppelin contract you know version number that i'm using over here all right so once that is done you will see that everything is sort of working now the next thing that we need to do we need to go to example erc721.sol and then just copy all these lines now these are the lines which basically you know don't let any other marketplace 
call the save transfer and all those functions so just to do that you can do it over here and you simply add these only allowed operator to the to the overriding method for transfer form for trace tra save transfer form uh, both the with and without data so you add only allowed operator one two and three places and that basically does it it does not let the marketplace transfer your nft i have made a video in the past for enforcing on-chain creator royalty in that scenario what we were doing was we were not allowing blocked marketplaces to basically approve get basically the set approval for all for the nfts or we had the other approach where we had only the allow listed marketplaces and only they were allowed to basically get the approval for sending the nft all right so both both formats are correct like um, i think opens event with this one i was explaining the other one both are fine but if you want your create royalties to be followed on OpenSea, you need to do this unfortunately all right once it is done the compilation should be fine again if you're not able to compile just go through the files uh, figure out you know where where is the open zeppelin contract written and then just change that with at open zeppelin slash contracts and this is basically what it should end up looking like once done you can of course test out deploy it on your remix uh, or you you can deploy it on goerly testnet i think putting it on remix will not work at all because you don't have anything but putting it on goerly sort of will work you can check whether you're allowed to use certain marketplaces on the testnet or you're not allowed to use certain marketplaces on testnet once you're happy with that you can of course push it to the mainnet i'm not going to do that because honestly that is not something that you know needs to be explained it's very easy it's the same thing over and over the only difference that we did uh, from our regular nft smart contracts is that we added this default operator filterer which we then you know inherited from and then for all the transfer methods we added this only allowed operator as a modifier if you just do these things these couple of things everything will be fine but what are my thoughts on the whole thing i am not really happy with the way OpenSea has sort of handled this what in fact they could have done is they could have gone through the approach that i took which was basically allowing marketplaces to enforce the creator royalties and then putting the onus on the on the creator to make sure that only the approved marketplaces are allowed to you know interact with that nft instead OpenSea basically took a hard hammer and said either you comply with my marketplace or you don't work at all on my marketplace in the sense that you don't get any creator royalties this is obviously not the best thing out there because what they're essentially doing is saying hey if your smart contract works with any of my big competitors you're not going to get any royalty on my platform which is a bit of an overreaction if you ask me and certainly not in the spirit and ethos of web3 they basically gone ahead and added censorship to the smart contract layer which they and only they control but that's all from me that those are my point of view if you think this is better for the creator please let me know in the youtube comments and if you watched the video till now please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't a subscribe or a like really makes me move forward helps me go a long way with all this if you're looking to create an nft smart contract and the videos are not enough for you you can contact me and i am available for consultation or for sponsoring a youtube video and if you have a specific question come join my discord server there are a bunch of people just like you and me who are trying to help each other out i hope to see you again next week till then bye, -bye.